Hey, just a quick update of how I'm getting on. Uh, donor car's finished with now. I've got that on eBay. Uh, got quite a lot of watches and views on it already, so hopefully that's going to sell, uh, get a bit of space back on the driveway, which is good. Um, I've been working on the CAN bus system. CAN bus? Nah, not, not the CAN bus system. I've been working on the uh, BMS system, as I've mentioned before. Um, got a couple of relays. These are de all dead simple to use. Thanks to Wolftronics for the pinout of the... BMS system here, it all either works on ground or 12 volts and uh, pretty much you supply 12 volts to the relays and they switch. Uh, you've got the positive relay, the negative relay and that's also the pre-charge runs across the negative. So you turn the positive on, turn the pre-charge on, wait for a second, turn pre-charge off, turn the negative on and you're done. So pre-charge, simple, very easy to do, all done by 12 volts. Got my high and low can here with the Arduino communicating with it. Um, had a slight problem when I asked the BMS for the voltages of all the cells, which there were 96 of, it's just returning 255. I don't know why. Um, I have noted that there's um, a little burnt patch here, and one of those there's a resistor on the other side which is burnt. Now I don't know if that's as a result of something I've done. Um, I was testing this without any cables plugged in, um, and it didn't work. So I thought, well I'll try it with the old cables plugged in, and it still doesn't work. Whether that was faulty prior to anything I've done, or whether it was a result of the crash, I just don't know. Uh, I've got the BMS over here, and uh, all the wired up now. I think you, if you remember I mentioned that I didn't know where all the connectors went, but again, Wolftronics had a pinout. He'd done a pinout of all the connectors. So there are four connectors with each cell that it goes to, and um, so I've managed to wire it up correctly. And it's important you wire this up correctly, because you get these around the wrong way, your voltages are going to be uh, out of whack and cause damage over there. I don't know if that's something that I've done that damage. Um, I'm not really sure. The fact that it didn't work prior to connecting anything, dubious as anything I've done. Um, if you know anybody that's got these copper connectors uh, out of the Leaf battery pack, let me know. I'm trying to source some and can't find any. Uh, I'd like to use the original ones just for recycling purposes. So anybody knows anybody, send me a message and uh, hit me up with that. Next job to do is I've got cat cable here, cat5 cable, not sure if you're familiar with it, but uh, it, I, each one of these is eight, there's eight strands in there, it's not going to focus on it, eight strands in each one, and I'm basically going to do all, read all this cabling, uh, nice and neat, there'll probably be seven cat5 cables coming out the top here, uh, wired down, wired all nice and neat, at the moment this is all just uh, ad hocly done to test it, I've got these bars here, I'll come back a little bit, um, they are so I can tense or compress the pack. I need to cut them in half, so I've got four at the back there as well, uh, and then use the bolts to compress the whole lot down, and um, that will stop the cells from expanding under use. So that's the kind of next week's worth of job to get all this finished up and tidied up and looking nice. Uh, I am worried about that board. I've got a local company that will replace that resistor that's burnt out. Um, but until I get all this wired up with all the copper connectors, I don't know if it's this not being all in series, so that doesn't have all the voltages it needs, hence why it won't chat to me properly, or whether that burnt out bit is a problem. Uh, but I'll keep you up to date and uh, subscribe, and um, I'll do another video when I'm a bit further along.